Okay, Scouts, I'm going to show you the six knot challenge and you will need three ropes, approximately four feet long, your water bottle and the post. The post will consist of either a chair leg or if you have a pole, you can stick it into the ground and we will use that post to secure some of these knots on. So now let me show you how this challenge works. First, we will start off with the clove hitch. So the clove hitch, you will have to go over the rope and then st stick it underneath the loop. And then when you pull, you know you did it correctly because the ends of each rope should be in, in between the loops. And that is the clove hitch. The next knot that we're gonna share is the square knot. For the square knot, you have to remember the saying, right over left, left over right. You know you did it correctly is if you push towards the center, the loops will fall apart. And this is the reason why we don't use the square knot to, to, to tie two ropes together. The next two knots that we're going to share is the sheet pen and the bowlin. The bowlin, let me do that one first. So with the bowlin, you make a loop and you know you did the loop correctly if it's on the top. So the short end, that short end is on the top of the loop. And so the saying goes, Pretend this is a rabbit. The rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the tree, and then goes back into the hole. And so when you pull, that is the bowling. And with the bowling, we will tie the sheep bend. The sheep bend, you go under through the hole from the bottom, go around it, make a loop with the rope that you're using, go underneath that rope, and then you pull. As you could see, this one, if I push it towards the center, it doesn't break apart. So this is the knot that we like to use for connecting two ropes together. The next knot we're gonna use is the coal hitch again, but this time, we're gonna put it around the water bottle. This knot is very important when you're connecting um, it to a standalone post. Uh, for instance, when you're making a tent with two poles, you will need to know how to do this. So you would first make a half hitch and this half hitch, it's very simple. If I make a loop and I pull up, it should stay relatively secure. If I, ax if I did it the other way and I lift up, it falls apart. So what you will do is create a half hitch. Oops, I just created another half hitch, put it over. And then if you pull, that is the clove hitch. Now this is very secure, okay? And then finally, we're gonna end with the two half hitches. This is the knot that we used to connect to guidelines or secure it to something and you don't need it to move. So you go over the rope and just go underneath. It's sort of like a overhand knot. And then you, so this one is inside the circle and you do the same thing outside the circle. And so when you pull it, it's secure and this knot should not fall apart. Okay, so going over the six knots again, we did a started with the clove hitch then we progress to the square knot followed by the sheet bend with the bowline a clove hitch tied to a standalone object and finally we ended with the two half hitches